Okay, let's talk about my Raspberry Pi. I may have done a video about this um, at one point. I don't think I've really shown too much of it. Um, I have a Pi, Pi Maroni case, I think, uh, for the for the TFT screen. It's a Adafruit TFT with the four buttons uh, soldered in. Um, back, there's a camera module installed. And I kind of shoved in a dollar store power amplifier so that's why you get the two little speakers here hanging off the top um, just makes it a little easier you don't have to use headphones or try and find an audio source to try and plug into um, one of the cool things I found at what would be Harbor Freight in the States Princess Auto here is this concept green uh, battery charger it's got a button up on the top that you push lets you choose between 5 volts I think it's 500 milliamp, 5 volts, 1 amp, and then 9 volts. Um, the beauty in that, at least for me, is I have a lot of 9 volt stuff, especially when camping or on the road on my moped. Um, I have the 5 volt GoPro, but I also have on my helmet uh, a Scalar Rider Q2 or something like that, G2. It's in the old, one of the older ones. It uh, it takes 9 volts to charge and can run off a 9 volt power supply. So I can Velcro this to the to the helmet and then just plug it in, in the GoPro or the uh, the audio if I'm on a long trip or ran my battery out or something like that. So this is actually pretty cool. It's got some bad reviews on Amazon, but I don't know. I'm okay so far. I'll see how the connectors hold up. That seems to be the problem. If that does become a problem, I'll take it apart. We'll find out what really is bad about this thing. Well, let's plug this in. Um, this is an RTL SDR dongle. Um, this is a TV dongle for Europe. Basically they would plug this into their computer be able to watch over the air television. Um, the beauty about this is it picks up other kinds of frequencies and some people have kind of hacked the drivers a little bit to get a wide area of those frequencies into the computer and just look at them listen to them so if we plug this into the USB ports here and we turn this guy into 5 volts we'll go 72 and we can plug it in So this will take a little bit to boot up. It's running off an SD card. But it is a Linux system, Debian. And we will slowly, slowly boot up. There goes the screen. Or the touchpad input, actually. Set up sound. Do up the console fonts. That's when the text all changed there. And we logged in, and now we've loaded X, and now we've loaded Artilizer, RTLizer. Uh, this is in GitHub, and basically we're looking out this antenna at 98 megahertz. Um, I've got these buttons set up here, so you can move down, move up. Um, Then you can zoom in and zoom out. So, just a little bit of working on this yesterday got to this point, kind of got sidetracked a little. But uh, that's kind of where I'm at for this. It's a neat little unit. I think I'm going to try and figure out how to put in a nice little bar in there and play back whatever's at the middle at the center frequency um, play around a little bit and do some more experimentation but I figure I'd put this out and just kinda show where my pie is at I was hoping to have this maybe in a backpack or something like that but uh, there was some other features this is a touch screen as well so I can take that input scroll back and forth and maybe pick where I want to be um, so yeah 
that's the Raspberry Pi as it stands right now.